Hello friends, welcome back. Many people are not aware of what are the liquid bees and nifty bees. Even if you are aware, you may not be aware of how to use them very effectively. I am Govind here. I am very happy to share what are the liquid bees, nifty bees, the differences between them and how to use them very effectively. What are the nifty bees or index bees? They are nothing but the exchange traded funds and they are the equity instruments. Any of the index ETFs simply emulates the index with the same weightage of the stocks in that respective index. The most popular index bees are Nifty bees belonging to Nifty and Bank Nifty bees belonging to Bank Nifty. So when you are buying the Nifty bee, you are actually buying the Nifty value. When you are buying the Bank B, you are actually buying the Bank Nifty value. And these are run by the Nippon Asset Management Fund House. Both the Nifty Bs and Bank Bs are listed in the exchange and they are traded like any other stock in the equity segment. You can buy them or sell them at any time. The return from Nifty B or Bank Bs is same as the return from the Nifty 50 index or Bank Nifty index. If the Nifty index falls, the return also will fall. And if Nifty index goes up, your return will also go up in the same proportion. Now let us look at the liquid piece. The liquid piece are also the exchange traded funds, but they are the debt instruments. That means they do not invest in any of the stocks. They invest in the short term, that is maximum of 91 days, government securities and money markets such as commercial papers. They are also listed in the exchange as ETF debt instrument and you can trade them like any other instrument. The, the most popular liquid B instrument that is available is Nippon India ETF liquid bees. You can use this instrument to trade. The return from liquid bees is same as the fixed deposit which is around 3 to 5 percent. And these are also run by the Nippon Asset Management Fund House. To simply put it, the liquid bees are nothing but the fixed deposits instruments that are available on the exchange. You can buy them and sell them at any time and earn the same interest rate as the fixed deposit. You don't have to go to bank to do the FD, just have to use your trading account to buy and sell this instrument. I hope you are finding it interesting and something that can be done easily. Here are the differences between the liquid bees and the nifty bees. The nifty bees are the equity instrument and there is an amount of risk involved based on the equity market conditions and the return is same as the nifty 50 index return if nifty 50 index gives you a higher return you will get a higher return if it is lower it is lower or sometime if it is negative it is negative and the fluctuation of the nifty bees is same as the fluctuation of the nifty 50 index liquid bees is the debt instrument very low risk investment and the return is same as the fixed deposit which is around 4 to 5 percent and the fluctuation in the price and return is stable the dividend earned by the nifty bees that means the dividend that is declared by the nifty 50 stocks is reinvested in the nifty bees so that is that is why you see there is a slightly higher price of nifty bees compared to the nifty index itself the interest earned from the liquid bees is credited as a unit to your account and you can use the nifty bees to pledge and get the collateral or the margin to trade in the fno segment the haircut for the nifty b is 8.75 percent and nifty b component is considered as the equity component portion for the margin. You can also pledge the liquid bees and get the haircut of 8% but the component considered as the cash component for the liquid bees. Coming to tax, nifty bees are taxable as per the equity slab that means the short term and long term gains are applicable. Liquid bees are also taxable as per your income tax 
lab. Let me quickly show you these instruments in the NSC website. I'm already in the NSC web website. Let me search for Nifty Bees. You can find here Nippon India ETF Bees. Click on that. So you will find that instrument and the currently traded price on the last trading day on September 30th, 2022. And also here you can see open high, low, close all these details and you can also see the value at risk. So in the bottom here, you can see applicable margin rate that is 8.75%. So what it means is there is a haircut of 8.75% when you pledge the Nifty Bs to get the margin. So they will deduct the 8.75%. The remaining will be given as a margin to trade. Now to check the liquidity, let me go to the historical data. I'll take around three months data, you can see the turnover in lakhs. You can see here 7,469, somewhere here, more than 13,000, 10,000. There is a good amount of liquidity is available in the Nifty B instrument. Now let me search for the liquid bees. Just type liquid here. You will find Nippon India ETF liquid bees. Click on that. So you find the Nippon India liquid bees here and the price is always fixed for liquid bees. It's important to note the price for liquid bees is always fixed at 1000 rupees. There will be a slight variation based on the liquidity. You can buy and sell any quantity, but the price is fixed at 1000. Whenever the interest is earned on the liquid bee, they will calculate the interest amount in terms of units and those units will be credited to your account on monthly basis. This is very important to know. You can also check the historical data to see the liquidity turnover in lakhs. So there is a good amount of liquidity available in the liquid bees also. Now let us check the haircut for the liquid bees also. So value at risk and applicable margin is 8%. So what it means is whenever you pledge liquid bees, 8% haircut will be done and the remaining will be given as a margin to trade in the FNO segment. Let us now look at when and how to use the Nifty Bees and Liquid Bees. Whenever you are not clear of investing in any of the individual stocks, you can consider investing in the index bees, especially the Nifty Bees. This is because Nifty is a well-picked 50 stocks from different sectors. So the risk is very low compared to investing in the individual stocks when you are not clear. Once you have the sizable quantity of Nifty Bs, you can use those Nifty Bs to do the covered call in the Nifty to earn the rental income. There is a separate video how to do the covered call with Nifty Bs. You can watch that video. The link is given in the description below. And you can pledge these Nifty Bs to get the margin as a equity component and you can trade it in the FNO using that margin. Coming to liquid bees, whenever you have a sizable amount of cash in your trading account, don't leave it idle because it is not earning anything for you. It is better to buy liquid bees and pledge those liquid bees to get the margin benefit and use that margin. In fact, that is considered as a cash margin component and trade it in the FNO segment if you are a FNO trader. This way you can earn from the interest that is coming from the liquid bees and you can reuse that margin money to trade in the FNO. This way you can increase your return. Friends, in fact, this is what I also do. I buy Nifty bees, use them to do the uh, covered call and also I have a cash component in liquid bees which is used as the cash margin component for my FNO trading. Friends, I hope you learned something out of this video. If so, do consider pressing the like button. Thank you for your time. See you soon.